welcome back to another vlog with me, Seppi. This is a very, very special vlog. I, since I've started vlogging, have wished that I could do a vlog like this because it's important for me to show you guys my heritage, my culture. I was born and raised in England. However, I come to Iran a lot and I count myself as Iranian. In the World Cup, I was screaming for Iran, and now I am here in Tehran. Um, FYI, just gonna put a disclaimer out there, this vlog might be very, very long, so grab chai, but I wanna show you guys how life is actually like in Tehran, starting with my love, Roya John. <laughs> um, you guys will know Roya John from my yeah. Portugal vlog, my Latvia vlog. I think you're yeah. in some of the London vlogs too. Everybody knows me. <laughs> Everybody knows her. <laughs> and we are in her beautiful home here in Tehran. So um, this is my mum. <laughs> and this is Sina. Sina looks so cute. Sol is in the shower and we have just woken up and I believe we are, oh this is me, hi. I believe we are going to a party today, uh, I'm not sure. So you guys are coming along this whole trip, I'm super excited and yeah. Like I said, um, Tehran, Iran is beautiful and I think it would be cool for you guys to see it from my perspective. Welcome. Also, there's one more really special person I want you to meet but he's gone missing. <laughs> the vlog Cyrus so this is Roy John's dog Cyrus yeah. and he is the most he's very cute he is so he's cute silent dog. <laughs> he's really silent and he's the most well-behaved dog you will ever meet and he's so friendly <laughs> so you know this vlog is gonna feature him too <laughs> so we're gonna have breakfast now everyone say hello to Seppi's vlog hello it's Seppi's vlog hello, hello. <laughs> hello. I love Everybody. I love you, I love you, PNC. Enjoy the breakfast. Oh, really Look at how nice Roya Jun. She's a hamatic as she does. Look at this. Wow. And this is Seppi. Seppi. So we're getting ready to go to a party and um, this is Sina, show your outfit, go back all the way. Sina's wearing this dress, those are her Louboutins that she's going to wear it with. Amal Farshad, say hello, hello to the vlog. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorgan's wearing this beautiful dress, she looks like a princess. Roya John looks so yes, pretty Roya too. <laughs> she's wearing her hijab over it, Sina, Sol is wearing her cover up over it and she's gonna put a hijab on so is my mum and then will you show me yes of course so um this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing a crop top from forever 21 zara jeans christian Louboutins, and we just jazzed up with some jewels and i'll show you guys my hijab actually i want you guys to know kind of a feel of how you go when you leave the house so we're going to a party we're going to sorgan's cousin's party um and i would wear this kind of waterfall jacket over and then this is my hijab this is my headscarf so i've got a black headscarf and then i will kind of just like this and, if and you can put your hair on yeah so i can my hair is kind of half out right. so then if i'm if i'm walking on the streets and i close this and I have this, and it can kind of be like this. Um, but because I'm getting in the car, I'll just have it open like this. So 
the crew is going. Roya Jim behind. Tell the vlog where are we going today? We are going to the north of Iran. Shoma! Everything will be great, great <laughs> and wonderful. So uh, everyone in Iran goes like especially from Tehran goes on holiday yeah. to like the north yeah. and they have like holiday homes and villas and stuff and we're bringing you guys along. How long is the drive? Like two, three hours? Maybe six hours. Oh, six hours in yeah. Iran. All right, do the outside yeah. there too. And look who has joined us. Look hello. who has joined us. Say hello to the hello. Iran vlog. Mom got the <laughs> so they're going in this car and we are going in this car. So you guys will come along with us and we'll see the north. How pretty is this road? Tehran in the daytime. Al Farshad, you are going to drive our team today. What's the name of our team, guys? Um, team Etika. Let me say the Kushar Vegi game as an Indian in Shakespeare. Kushar, Kushar, Kushar. I'm going to hit you up, 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 Kushar. I'm همه از من همیشه توی اینستاگرام توی ویدیو ها میپرسن فارسی بلدی و بالاخره توی این بلاگ قرار کلی براتون فارسی هر بزن فقط لحچم و تو رو خودم از قرار نکنی خیلی هم عالیه Loving life so we've stopped on the way for food. This is traditional Iranian starter called Mirza Qasami. What is it, Saul? Mirza Qasami. And then this is yogurt with shallots mixed in. And we have kebab coming. And this is what people come to Iran for. Oh. Rice. My dad is having. Dad, what are you having? <laughs> he doesn't even want to look up. He's so hungry. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> What do you think of the food? Wow. Oh my god. Like, stop somewhere for tea uh, and shisha, and it's by the river. It's really cool. In Iran, oh my god, it looks so horrendous, but we traditionally sit on beds like that. And we like, like it's not like everywhere you go, but it's in traditional vibey places. You sit on these beds and you have like chai and dinner if you want, but like nowadays it's more like shisha places. Good morning, you guys. Um, we arrived late last night, so I couldn't really vlog because it was too dark for you guys to see, but I'll definitely give you guys a tour of the beach house. Um, but for now, I thought I'd let you catch up with so we're just basically sunbathing by the pool. We're in an area called Motel Ghu um, in the north of Iran and it's quite beautiful. And I'll show you guys um, where like those palm trees are. It's literally like there's gates and on the other side of the gate is the ocean. So it's a beautiful location. Kind of like how French people go to the south of France in summer. Iranian people come to the north of Iran to like their villas in the summer. So it's kind of the same vibe, except like South of France people stay in flats. Here everyone's got huge villas with pools and stuff because you can't exactly go to like a public beach like with like girls and boys mixed with bikinis and stuff, but you can go to your own private pool. So like loads of families like will come together and chill um, in each other's beach houses. This is like an outside, like back view of the villa. 
and there's Sina getting ready to go in the pool. My mum, my dad, so. So my bikini top that I got last year from the shop sale and my bikini bottoms are victorious. Guys, make like a cute heart for the vlog. Make it Take a picture of this. Take a picture of this. Wait, wait, wait. Is this your attempt at a heart? Pine is she? Pine is Take a picture. Take a pic, quick, quick. What are we doing? This is meant to be a heart, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's crying for help because <laughs> they're picking on her. <laughs> so we're now having a barbecue. Um, so this is a fish kebabs. They are, from what I've heard, very very hard to get. Like they're they're extremely um, difficult to source because Iranians don't like their fishes to go extinct. So um, it's called ozomburun. Yeah, it is exuberant. Uh, this is the same fish. Uh, which one has the caviar? caviar yeah, this is the fish that, that. that they source caviar from. Um, yeah, potatoes, yeah. tomatoes, chicken wings, chicken sheesh. And then there is someone out here doing the barbecue. If Cyrus will let me go by. Chef doing the food, and my dad, and I'm a bad shot. I should probably give you guys a quick tour now of the villa whilst we're at it. Iranians are really big on front gardens, so even in like their normal houses, not just the villas. So this is like the front garden. And we're in an area called Motel Wu, um, which is like, there's loads of like different small cities. It's kind of like in the south of France, you have Cannes, you have Monaco, you have um, Nice, all of that. You have Saint-Tropez, you have Antibes. So it's the same with Iran, you have little different areas in the north where like people have their holiday homes and we're in Mont Motel Rou, which is quite like central, it's a bit like a bit like the can of, of Iran basically, it is the can of Iran. This is the villa, that bit goes out to the pool and that's the front entrance. We're kind of staying between two, we're staying in this villa but we also like use the pool of the other villa I'll show you but it's not finished yet. So, um, but that one has like a really cool pool. Now I've reached the back door. So I'll just show you through the back door basically. So this is a bathroom. That's the kitchen I just started in, front door. And it's a bit messy, sorry guys. This is the living room. And that's like the dining area. And then there's like a bar here. And this bit is like a fire pit used in winter. Oh, the weather is actually so, it's like humid in the north, but it's beautiful. And um, sunbathable, so we've been sunbathing all day. And um, inside is all aircon, otherwise you would literally suffocate. So this is upstairs. This is like a living area space. So this is kind of what beach houses are like in Iran. Um, obviously, not all of them are the same to the same like level. Some are um, smaller, some are bigger. Um, but yeah, like everyone who can obviously afford it will have beach houses out in Te outside of Tehran in Shomar. This is the balcony for the master as well. So, go downstairs now to eat. I hope you like my little tour. MTV Cribs, welcome. Salamat. 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 Salamat.
در میبخش این خونه از که حال میبخش این خونه همه چی داره حالا باید بخوریم کمبار رو در شما کنم مشاور مشاورت We're all going for a walk and we're going to go quad biking on the beach, which is really fun. I'm going to show you guys. So guys, we're wearing, so just so you know, like on the beach, the hijab is a bit relaxed because it's private. So I'm just wearing a crop top. I have no clue where this is from. Um, the jeans are top shop. This is H&M. I borrowed on Sogand and my Zara cap is my... I love your shoes. These are mummy. She got them in Turkey. Oh wow! Yeah. Hello. Hello. So we're gonna go. So this beach is like a private beach. So you can kind of like just walk out and relax. And then at the bottom is the ocean. Cyrus being just <laughs> So we've come for Italian food and how beautiful is this building by the way, it's an apartment block and we're just waiting for the rest of our food. Sina wants to be featured now that she's wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. Sorgan's got spag roll. You guys check out my food. So I'm back from Shomal, I got back yesterday, I'm back in Tehran and my hijab is on me and we are in a coffee shop in a shopping centre called Modern El Ahia. The coffee shop is on the terrace and it's called Bicola and I'm joined by the one and only Gonush from like vlog 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 <laughs> and so Sina. What have you guys ordered? Um, these lot have ordered hazelnut crafts and I've ordered a hazelnut la ice latte and I can't
and like us, ice lattes in Iran are so much better. Did you did you find a husband here in Tehran? <laughs> 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 look out, guys! Please, if you know anyone of a suitable age that is over 16 and below 99. A British passport. I come with my own British passport, so my husband doesn't even need to have one. <laughs> no, it's not getting cut. I promise myself not going to mention British passport ever again. After she's mentioned it a hundred times already. So what are you after if not the British passport? Um, good looks. Looks. Um, body. Oh, body as well. Yes. <laughs> wait, guys, guys, wait. Look at them, and I'm gonna hold that. I'll have their reaction on the vlog. I'm just gonna clarify this for the vlogs. Not that anyone even cares in the vlogs. The whole British passport thing is a joke. Gornish gets a British passport in a few years' time anyway. <laughs> if I get jokes are factual, just to let you guys know, jokes are factual. <laughs> I personally want someone who has a British passport. Yeah. Worst come worst, someone's gonna marry you. So we've come to a restaurant in an area called El Ahia, and the restaurant is Arabic, and it's called the Affair. And we've got shisha, we're getting food. It's really pretty, and we look after. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice. <laughs> You're, you look beautiful as you are, signs. <laughs> You're so mean <laughs> So my food comes on a grill. It's shish tawuk. So we've come to my auntie's house for lunch and look how amazing this all looks. So this is Kaime Vadim so it's a stew with lentils, lamb and chicken and aubergine and then we all always have herbs with our food. This is Persian rice with saffron and then this is chicken with carrots and like stew sauce. We've got fruit on the table for after. Salad. This is a Persian drink called dur, but there's loads of variations in other countries they call it iron. What is this? <laughs> And this is stuffed vine leaves, um, and it all just looks so yummy. It's kind of like traditional in Iran that when you visit, you come and see your family for lunch, for dinner, breakfast, and, breakfast and all that. So we are here to visit. Um, yeah, my dad's auntie. She lives here in Tehran, and yeah. I'll well, show you guys what we would usually eat and I'm wearing, can we show them quickly? Just at home vibes, I'm wearing this crop top from Forever 21 and my jeans and Zara. My camera battery is really low but we are at a awesome, another Lebanese restaurant called uh, Mamounia in Tehran. I'm not going to lie, I actually have to admit that it's even lighter than it's better than yesterday, and it's such a vibe. I'm gonna save my battery so you can meet someone that we met at the door who speaks perfect English. Behrad speaks perfect English. No, it's there, going to straight from the tea city. <laughs> and um, he's an up and coming rapper. He is an up and coming yeah, rapper. Yeah, up and coming Persian rapper. Um, so I'll link his music down below in the description and make sure you check it out. So it is our last night here in Tehran and we have come out with Afsanaj 
bedroom. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> so what do you think? I love the atmosphere. The ambiance is amazing. The shisha is incredible. Honestly, by far the best shisha I've had in a very long while. At least 24 hours. She, by the way, there was really loud music, so she said she loved the shisha. It's the best shisha she's had in at least hey, 24 hours. <laughs> Okay, Gonush, please don't talk about passports or marriage. No, I'm not going to talk about it. No, that vlog is close. That chapter is close. Hey guys. I'm going to show you the actual restaurant just so you could see it. You guys, I had my nails done today. It's like this gorgeous chrome, um, and I got my feet to match for my holiday. But seriously, guys, I'm gonna miss Tehran without the summer is coming. Yeah, guys, this is how it looks like. So, we just got out the car to get some ice cream because we found an ice cream shop that's open in Elahia, and it's called Il Leo. Elahia is like a super cool neighborhood. It's, I think it's like the best neighborhood in Tehran in terms of like where to live and this is like the ice cream shop how cool um, <laughs> maybe my mom gonna have a sashi and a hazelnut I don't want to share oh yes, I don't want to share <laughs> Cheesy begging, cheesy bego, harfi bezan. And I'm going to come to my room and I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit Okay, we don't have, we have people from our door door, but we can't get them. Door door was fun. We made new friends. Hana ice cream. Now we're heading home. So guys, our time in Tehran is come to an end. 
well my time has come to an end everyone else might be staying for a bit longer after me but we are off to Thailand next so we're going to the airport now uh, what are you gonna miss the most about Tehran the people yeah hey. followed by the weather the food the food and the food Tehran without Samoy is family signs what are you gonna miss Yeah, she is. Um, I will miss Cyrus. <laughs> and I'll miss the food, I'll miss my friends, I'll miss, I love the restaurants here and like the nighttime atmosphere. Um, I'll miss but yeah, the spinning bar. I'll yeah, I'll yeah, miss, the, I miss the spinning, the door door, the nighttime. <laughs> Guys, we're boarding the next flight, so um, Amal Farshad has a message. I love everybody. <laughs> Have a nice flight. Yep, so everyone, where will where will where will we see them next? <laughs> we will <laughs> see them. Baba Kesha Shoma. Shoot you the You better not edit that. Bye guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on my socials, link down below. Instagram, Persian Bunny, Twitter, The Persian Bunny, Snapchat, Saki Samai. Love you and I hope you enjoyed the real Tehran. That's what I wanted you guys to see.